Gentlemen, do you have any idea why I called you out here on a Sunday afternoon like this? Um, no, Sergeant, because we, we, we're, we, you know, we're, we're good troops, and we, we just, we do everything. Shut up. Look at that vehicle behind you. Uh, um, yeah, that's, that, that's our, that's our track, Sarge. That's our, yep, yeah, that's our, shut up. Why is it dirty? Um, well, that, that's because we, we drive it in dirt, and, and shut up. Why is it not clean? You all know that track maintenance is the very most important part of being in a mechanized armored unit. Is it not? Can you kill enemy forces in a dirty track? No, you cannot. Look at the tank next to it. Don't look. Just look at the tank next to it. Don't move. It's perfectly clean. Why is that vehicle not clean? Turn around and look at that vehicle. Look at your vehicle. Don't move. Why is it not clean? I want you to go in the barracks and you all will change into your finest dress uniform and you will come back down here and you will clean this vehicle in your dress uniform and then you will have a full dress inspection because I'm a dick and that is what I do because that is how we run this unit and as a punishment you have a bug on you have a giant bug crawling on your face private and as a punishment after it is clean you will all have to watch the worst unboxing video ever because you still have a giant bug crawling on your face private because do you want to do anything about that good excellent military bearing and discipline at least you can sit with a giant ant crawling on your rifle because you will watch this crappy unboxing, and you will watch it and like it. And all of you, you can all watch this crappy unboxing too. Because this box sucks. Dismissed. Hey guys, we're back. We, me and Aiden. Aiden's right there, I'm over here. It's a shit hit the fan mystery gearbox day. It's a good day for an unboxing. Wanna say hi Aiden? See hi. Your... There you go. See your shadow there. Aiden's got a new, what do you got there? Uh, Lego Berlin Warrior Time Snake. You wanna show that guy off? Who wants to show that guy off? Do this. Do, do, do. There you go. Look, I got a left arm again. Uh, as tolerated with really awesome pain patches from the physical therapist. Anyway, it's hot out here. Tato's lying in the grass like he's dead. So we're just gonna get right to the unboxing and get this thing done. All right, Aiden, what do you want to look at first? Uh, what is this? What is that? Strawberry and banana. <sighs> freeze-dried strawberry and banana. You know, we have actually been eating a lot of freeze-dried fruit lately because Walmart has one that we've been enjoying. So this is good stuff to have out camping, adventuring, whatever. We're not going to do that. We're just going to, Ethan's going to see this and he's going to want to tear into it. We might feed some of it to the chinchilla too. I've never tried this particular brand. Aiden, you going to try this? I'm not that hungry. No? But uh, we'll give this a, a shot. You know, I'll just rip open to it right now. It's not bad, actually. It tastes pretty good. And this stuff can run, like, this can be pretty expensive, depending on where you get it. So, at least it's a tasty item. Aiden, what do you want to do next? Okay, you want to open that up and take it out of the box? I think I might have a lot of interest in this pair of somethings, whatever this is. What does it look like to you? A pair of snippers. Snippers? Okay, this looks like it would be a great size for me. Go ahead, keep opening up. It's a little multi-tool. Tiny. Is that a spring in there that helps it pop open? Yeah, it's a spring. A little spring in it. Mm. Pretty sure there's got to be knives on it somewhere. Mm, take a look. So let's take a look at what's on this little guy. And this is by Trailblazer. So we've got a little, little straight blade, little serrated blade, uh, standard screwdriver, Phillips head, Slightly larger one with a little tiny bottle opener. What's Phillips head? Phillips head is that that shape of screwdriver right there. And that's a flathead screwdriver. And that like takes the dirt out of your fingernails. That can take the dirt out of your fingernails. Yeah, you could use it to pry stuff open. And a file, uh, little punch slash all with another little blade on it. Uh, there's a cork opener. Bottle opener. Yep, you're close. 
not a, quite a corkscrew, but a bottle opener, yeah. And a little wire stripper on there, right there, too. I'm actually not even showing that at all, sorry. A little wire stripper built in there, too. But Aiden, you think this is a good size for you? Yeah. So what do you think? Is this going to go in your fishing tackle box? Yep. Yeah? Okay, why don't you put it back in the pouch? And you remember it goes in your tackle box when you go inside, okay? Oh, this is. What is that? Little weather band radio. So this is a very compact weather survival radio, which is cool. So it looks like you've got your standard AM, FM, stereo with your weather alert band, which is cool. You can program 20 stations. Not sure what the sound quality is like. Let's, uh, oh, might as well go ahead and try it out. Today will be a day of opening everything. So I got the batteries put in. It's got a little clock that I need to set, but simple power button on. Um, uh, let's see, tuning buttons on the side. This is a real radio. Yeah. And I guess this goes through your presets. Function, FM. I'm not sure how you go, band. And then your weather. Pretty nifty. I mean, really, very simple for what it is. Decent sound. I mean, it's it's not going to be too loud, but it's I mean, it's not a great stereo system or anything. But for just something small that you can carry around, obviously it's not waterproof or anything like that. But uh, looks like you can plug an AC adapter in there if you wanted to. And you can hang it in like. You could like put it in one of your pockets and that thing would be on the outside. Yep, you sure could. You got a pocket clip there. Headphone jack, so not bad. I probably wouldn't have bought it otherwise, but at least now I have one I can kind of mess around with and get to know. Okay, and what's next? Fish spear. A fish spear. Um, I, you know, we probably won't take this one out of the package because we don't have anything to put it on right now, but gotten a lot of fishing spears in several different boxes and so we've got four tines and a little screw and very simple get a pole put it on there you got a fishing spear looks like it'd just be more fun to play with uh gotten some better fishing spears in some other boxes but it kind of looks like something only like tried to hold yep something tried it would hold okay what's next Let's do that thing that starts with the H, U, M. The Humvee Explorer LED Clip Watch. It's got some heft to it. So the bugs are out today. So it's an analog watch. Not digital, which I actually like. Uh, it's got a little compass on it. I don't know how accurate it is. It's a little stylish. I think we already have the Lycra on that. Uh, what? I think we already have the Lycra on it. Yeah. It's got a little LED light, which I'm trying to... Uh, I'm guessing it's not tritium, but it's just, you know, luminous. What? Um, probably, hopefully there's a value card somewhere in here in the bottom. I'm sure that the MSRP on this is way more than it's actually worth because it says Humvee on it. But it's cool. What do you think? You like it? Something you clip on your backpack? Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I like dial watches just so I don't forget how to use them until time with them from time to time. Uh, in fact, for work, I need, you know, one of those very precise satellite time watches, which is why I have that nice digital G-Shock. Um, but these are still cool. I like the styling of like a hands of dial watch myself personally. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's a nice looking watch. All right, Aiden. What do you got for me next? Of course, we're doing this. Yep. So we got a big set of uh, polymer plastic carabiners. I like these because whenever I'm deployed, I clip things to everything. I have no idea what one of those are. Well, this is what we call a D clip or D ring. And I shouldn't oh. call it D ring, but this is a carabiner, and we use this to clip things onto other things and you can carry gear. Now these wouldn't be what we'd use for like if I was having to repel or I was gonna have to do any kind of mountain climbing or anything like that because these aren't gonna carry a lot of weight, but these could carry all sorts of gear and they come in all these nice assorted colors. 
all of them quite tactical except for the orange one. But the springs are a little tight. Ooh, that one's squeaky. I really like this that one's squeaky orange too. one. That's, that's only... That one's not so squeaky. This is orange only. This is the only one that I like. The orange really one? Like. Yeah. You can have the orange one. Thanks. These are always useful. I'm not sure what the actual value of them is, but you've got looks like a uh, foliage green, a tan slash coyote, a black gray, and then the orange one. Not bad. I'm not as enthused about this box as I have been about past ones, if you guys can tell. Uh, not a lot of wow factor in it, but let's take a look. Aiden wanted to do this one, and I talked him into, let's save this one for the end, because it's about the end of the box. Oh, there is some more stuff underneath. We have a value card? Yes, we do. What's your wishes? That is, let's see, hold it over here by the camera. You've got the Combat Commander Gladius Dagger. You want to open that up? Yeah, that sounds like it daggers. might be pretty cool. I love daggers. Yeah. Thank you, Aiden. Starting with a pretty thick polymer handle. Oops, sorry. With a full tang blade, I can tell. Nylon sheath. You know how I feel about these, you know, single attachment points. Nylon sheets. I don't know if you can make that out, but Combat Commander High Carbon Steel. Of course, made in China. I knew that before I looked at it. Comfortable handle, not great. It has that Roman Gladius shaped blade. It looks like a really good dagger. Would you like to hold it, Aiden? What sure. do you think? Tell people, what, how does it feel? Is it heavy? Is it light? It's, it's, it's a little heavy. Not that heavy. A little heavy? Yeah. Um, do we have a piece of paper? Yes, we do. I will hold it for you. Well, no, I don't, I don't want you to hold the piece of paper, so I'm going to cut with it. Well, there you go. There's your initial edge test right there. Not too bad. Not great. Not good. Not horrible. Yeah, it just kind of is. It's, yeah, it's just like good. It needs, it needs sharpening out of the box. Uh, I guess this is another one that's it's more showy than anything else. Probably not something I'd carry around, but I'm sure it's got some uses. Life straw. I'm not going to open this. I'm going to leave this sealed up. But this is another, you know, personal survival water straw. We've gotten a few of these in boxes lately. I actually really do like these because I've been places where you've had to use like the water purification, the iodine tablets, and they suck. They taste disgusting. So huh. standard, you know, you put your straw in the water and you drink it. Yay. All right, this is what Aiden's been waiting for. Let's uh, go ahead. The let's... M48 Hawk. He was just asking me the other day about hatchets and tomahawks. And now, and, and now I can see what a hatchet is. Yeah, well this is actually a tomahawk, so this is a little bit different. Tomahawk is made for throwing, and a hatchet is made for more chopping stuff, but... Small little cutting surface, but again, you know, not so much for chopping, but tomahawks for scalping and throwing. Can I see um, it? Yeah, here you go. It's heavy. It's heavier than it looks. It's not that heavy. So looking at the information here that comes with it, oxide coated two CR13 stainless steel blade. Uh, I, to me, that reads as crappy steel, uh, not great steel. But then again, this also isn't the kind of thing that I would carry around in the field. You know, as like a want to stake my life on a survival tool. This is again something that's cool, something that we can practice like. throwing against a log. Thirty percent fiberglass nylon handle includes durable nylon sheath. I don't know why There's... anybody would throw, like, something that's, like, max, because if there were people around and you needed to throw it, you might, you might hit them in the chest. Well, you would throw this at somebody you wanted to hit in the chest. <clears throat> you know that, you know that thing that, uh, Grandpa has on his uniform that says Ranger? Yeah. You know they learn how to throw these things on purpose. It's part of their big competition. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, pretty, pretty cool. Just, you know, to have. I wonder, I wonder how the rate of fire is if somebody actually, like, throws it. 
Well, there's there's not a rate of fire for this because it's no, just, and then like the hand rate of fire. There there isn't a hand rate of fire because yeah. it's you throw it once well, and it's gone. Well, I just mean like how fast it is. It that's up to the person. So it's it's interesting. It's a it's a. Eh. I don't know, it's not my style. Uh, it, it's, again, it's cool to have. It's not very useful or tactical to me. Pretty pretty let down by this box overall. Yeah, because all you can do is throw it at something, then it's gone. You can't use it anymore. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we can, we can throw it in the backyard together and play and just chop a little stuff with it. So let's take a look at the estimated values of everything in here. So... Uh, the Gladius Dagger, 1999. Exotic Buffalo Jerky. Did I miss Exotic Buffalo Jerky somewhere in here? I didn't see any Exotic Buffalo Jerky. Maybe I got the Strawberry and Bananas instead of Exotic Buffalo Jerky. I would have much rather had Exotic Buffalo Jerky. We'll keep looking at that in a minute. Tactical Beaner 5-piece set, $7.99. Trailblazer Multi-Tool, $9.99. Barbed Frog Spear, $2.99. Uh, then moving on to the Pro Box. The Humvee Explorer LED Clip Watch Carabiner, $24.99. Yeah, I don't think it's worth that at all. The M48 Tomahawk, $39.99. Yeah, debatable. And then moving on to the Elite Box, the Kitchen Fruit Pouches, $5. Life Straw, $19.99. And the UST Emergency Weather Radio, $29.99. I feel like there is stuff that was supposed to be in this box that was not in this box. Um, Yeah, I feel like there is some buffalo jerky that we are supposed to have that we do not have. We and I would I would like to have that exotic buffalo jerky. Anyway, just a quick unboxing and thanks to Aiden for getting more involved and helping me out. And he'll take his tools and he will put them uh, in his tackle box. Well, just one. Or with his backpack uh, and your clip. Um, <clears throat> Thanks, Tato, for, you know, protecting the yard and barking and at the big bad car that drove by, keeping us safe. At the random things, too. Yep. Uh, don't forget, if you guys haven't checked it out already, by the time this is online, the giveaway results for the Ganzo Firebird knife giveaway will be online as well. So check and see if your name's on there. Seriously, I want my buffalo jerky. What's up with that? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll be back again real soon.